Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the B-Link BT3 Mini PC. You'll receive the Mini PC, a metal mounting bracket with hardware, an AC power adapter, a long and short HDMI cable, and a couple of brief manuals. The Mini PC is constructed with a lightweight plastic housing, and it's small and compact measuring 4.5 inches square by 1 inch tall. It weighs only 10 ounces. On the right hand side is a full size SD card slot and two USB ports. On the back is the power button, power input port, third USB port, HDMI out, Ethernet jack, and headphone out port. Then on the right you have a VGA output port as well. On the bottom are four rubber feet and two screw holes for use with the mounting bracket. That's it for the external features, so let's set this PC up. Inside, the PC is running a 64-bit Intel Atom X5 processor with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage space. It's also got a built-in ABGN dual-band Wi-Fi receiver and Bluetooth 4.0. All you need for setup is a monitor or TV to hook it up to and a USB keyboard and mouse. After powering it on, the first thing you need to do is set up Windows 10 Home Edition. It's pretty straightforward, and as long as you have speakers plugged in, or are using the HDMI cable with a TV, you can follow the voice prompts from Cortana. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. The complete setup process takes about 10 minutes. Once the computer is set up and activated, you can start using Windows like any PC loading web pages, watching streaming video content, and launching common productivity apps like Microsoft Word and Excel work fine, but are a bit sluggish. You'll also notice that there isn't any noise coming from the mini PC. You won't hear a fan or the telltale whirring of a spinning hard drive, because this mini PC has no moving parts. About half of the 32GB storage space is taken up by the operating system. However, you can expand the storage by up to 128GB using a full-size SD card. This doesn't, however, let you install the latest Windows 10 upgrade, which is a shame. Overall, this mini PC should work well for your basic computing needs. You can get online, run a few apps, and maybe play a few casual games. It won't be able to handle intense computing like photo and video editing or 3D rendering, but if you need a simple workstation to browse the web and control smart home devices, this should work just fine. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.